There's a strong police presence here today as the NYPD investigates whether this disturbing incident was a hate crime. Now, Jewish residents in this diverse community are shaken, especially since this comes amid a sharp rise in anti-Semitic incidents citywide. Police tell us about 4.30 p.m. Sunday outside the Island Kosher Market on Victory Boulevard in Staten Island, a 32-year-old Jewish man and his 7-year-old son were on the sidewalk. Both were in yarmulkes. Investigators say a dark sedan with no license plate drove by and someone inside fired a pellet gun, hitting the father twice in the chest and the child near his ear. It's scary because you don't know when you're walking on the street, you don't know like, who could do it. Like Imagine if it was a real gun. I think it's very sad what happened to this father and son. Other shoppers here were surprised that an incident like this could happen here. But the NYPD tells us anti-Semitic incidents for the month of November citywide were up 125 percent over November 2021. To be honest with you, it's just uh, very scary. You know, this is a very peaceful neighborhood overall. Um, everyone is not very friendly, Italian neighbors and black neighbors and Chinese neighbors and everybody, and we all get along great. The all-volunteer Staten Island Shmira Emergency Services team posted this wanted flyer asking for information. I myself, you know, I always have to watch my back because I'm Jewish too, and I have to watch my back because you know how it is. Everybody, you know, people are just crazy. Now, the father and son were not seriously injured and re refused medical attention, according to authorities. Now, the NYPD is asking anyone with information to give them a call at 1-800-577-TIPS. You do not have to give your name. We're live in Staten Island. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.